I have a nice limit problem here, very seemingly innocent limit problem. Uh, it says that the limit as x goes to zero, zero from the right, that's zero plus, of x raised to the x. Okay, well, whenever I have a limit, I like to just plug in the number and see what happens. So if I plug in zero for x, that would be zero to the zero power. Uh, now, there's a couple trains of thought you could think here. Well, zero raised to any power is zero, right? Zero times anything is zero. Okay, so maybe this is zero. Um, or you could think anything to the zero power is one. Hmm. Well, actually, zero to the zero is what we call an indeterminate form. Determine, uh, I'll say indeterminate. I can't spell that. So we have to do something else. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trick, basically. I'll have you remember a nice property of logarithm that says b to the log base b of x is x. And we're also going to use that log base b of x to the n power is n times log base b of x. OK, so I'm going to use these two properties. Now, you're used to using b to the log base b just kind of cancels, and you get whatever's on the inside. But I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to start with x, or in this case, x to the x, and I'm going to insert a b to the log base b. And I'm going to use the natural logarithm and e. So e to the ln of x to the x. Wow. So I'm allowed to do this because the e and the ln, uh, well, they undo each other, and I could just do e to the ln cancels, and I'm back to where I started. But uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep going forward. So I've done, I've done this. Now I'm going to do this. So that x to the x, that x is in the exponent. So I'm going to write it as a coefficient. So that's that's x times ln x in the e power. Okay, I've used my properties of logarithms. I'm going to erase those. Now, um, well, what happens if I plug in 0 now? If I take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, well, that would be a 0 for x. And what happens if you take the natural log as x goes to infinity? Well. The natural logarithm looks like this. So if I approach zero from the right, this is going down to negative infinity. So again, you kind of have two things you need to think about. Well, zero times anything is zero, right? Or maybe you're thinking infinity times anything is infinity. Which is it? We don't know. Zero times infinity is another indeterminate form. So I got to do something different. Uh, now, I'm going to write this as a fraction. That's the trick. So if I use my properties of fractions, I think that's allowed, right? Because if I have something over a fraction, that's the same as multiplying the denominators reciprocal, right? So x times ln x is the same as ln x over 1 over x. Why do that? Well, let's see what happens if I plug in 0 now. If I take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, we already found that ln of x would go to minus infinity. And on the bottom here, I've got 1 over 0. Now, 1 over 0, 1 over something very, very small, is getting very, very big. So 1 over 0 is actually approaching infinity. Now, why is this good? Well. Now I can use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says when I get a limit and I get infinity over infinity, and you can also do it with zero over zero, I'm allowed to take the derivative of the numerator and separately take the derivative of the denominator and try the limit again. So what's the derivative of ln of x? I'm sure you all remember that is one over x. And then what's the derivative of 1 over x? 
Well, the derivative of one over x is minus one over x squared by the reciprocal rule. If you don't like that, you can write one over x as x to the minus one, and then apply the power rule. Bring the minus one down, subtract one from the power, and then you can rewrite that. Uh, but I like using the reciprocal rule sometimes, it saves me a little bit of time. So now I've got e to this mess. Remember, if I have a fraction over a fraction, I can multiply by the reciprocal. And now it looks like, uh, okay, I've got x squared over x. That's just going to leave me with an x on top. Uh, 1 over 1. You can think about canceling them, but I'm just not even going to bother writing it. And I think that's going to get a minus 2. Okay. Now let's plug in 0 one last time. If I evaluate this thing at 0 using L'Hopital's rule, that'll be e to the 0. And now, <laughs> now we can use the fact that anything to the zero power is one. Final answer, great. So the limit as x approaches zero from the right of x to the x is one. So just remember when you've got a variable to a variable power, you can use this ELN trick and then bring down the power and write it like a fraction and then apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, Comment below.